This is going to be a video tutorial on how to set up the MLA format in Microsoft Word. I'm going to jump over to Microsoft Word. This is Microsoft Word 365 that I'm using here. I'm going to open up a blank document. First thing I'm going to do is change the uh, font to Times New Roman. Times New Roman. And I'm going to change it to 12 points. Now I'm going to click the uh, Layouts tab. Layouts. And under the margins on the ribbon, the far left side margins, I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to make sure it's set to normal. I want one inch all the way around, normal. Now I'm going to go back to the Home tab and I'm going to make sure the uh, line and paragraph spacing. I'm going to click the little drop, drop down here, line and paragraph spacing. I'm going to set it to 2.0. Now I'm going to double click the very top portion of the uh, document to uh, go into the header area. You double click the very top and you'll see it says header here. I'm going to go over to the home tab, click on the home tab. And I'm going to change the alignment to align right. And I'm going to type my last name here. I'm going to put a space. Last name and then space. Now I'm going to go back over to the header and footer tab. Click on the header and footer tab. And on the far, uh, far left side of the uh, ribbon, you'll see it says page number. I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to select current position and I'm just going to select a plane number. And there's the last name and the page number there. Now you want to uh, double click in the body area of your document to come out of the header area. Just double click. And then now you will type your uh, full name. I have the alignment set to uh, left here, line left. But I'm going to type my full name. I'm going to hit the enter button. I'll type the uh, teacher's name now. I'm going to hit the enter button. Then I will type the class. And then you will type the date. And you start off with the, the uh, date of the month, then the, then the month, and then the year. I'll hit enter again. And now to type the title, you want to go to center align. I'll click on center align. I will hit enter again. I guess I spelt that wrong. I put an E on it. And now for the body, the body text, you want to go with a line left. And to indent each paragraph, all you got to do is hit the tab key. I'm just going to put some Lauren Ipsum te text in here for this. Now I'll hit tab again. I'll hit tab again. I'll paste that in there. Just a little Lauren Ipsum text. And now the final part you need to uh, create a uh, citations 
page. And to create the uh, citations page, put your cursor at the very end of your last paragraph. We will go to the Insert tab, and we will ins insert a blank page. And now we will go back to the Home tab, click on the Home tab, and uh, we need to put our uh, Works Cited title up here, so we will click on Center Align. And I will type Works Cited. Then I will hit Enter. And then we will go back to Left Alignment. And now on your Works Cited page, uh, MLA format requires that you do a hanging indent for your, uh, your, your sources, your cited sources. And the way you do that, uh, easiest way to do it for me, up here at, at the top, you have a down arrow, an up arrow, and a little, uh, little uh, rectangle box below it. The, down, the, the, the arrow that's pointed upward is the one you want to move to one half inch. So just drag that one out one half inch. And then you can put your sources in there. I'm just going to make up some stuff here. You see how that in, indented there? That is a hanging indent. And that's the way you do your uh, works cited page. And that's it. That's MLA format there. Thanks for watching.